Yeah, man. Welcome to the Frick Cast and to the Dr. Squatch Basic Soap Guide. Today we're going over what you should expect from every Squatch bar. Dr. Squatch and natural soap as a whole has been a growing trend the last few years, and for good reason. Still, many find the cost to outweigh the benefits of using these types of products. So in this video, I wanted to briefly cover the basics of your standard Squatch brick, break down what the staple ingredients are, and what they do for your skin, as well as help you decide whether or not Squatch is right for you. First, let's slam the basic ingredients. These are what you'll see in basically every brick. Now, if you're new, you should realize two things about the ingredients. One is that there are several staple ingredients that you'll find make up a part of every bar. And two is that there are ingredients that are unique to a couple of bars, or even just one bar. This makes every bar different, not just because of its added scent. They are fundamentally made up from different ingredients, and therefore each soap has its own unique qualities and benefits. Squatch soaps are cold process soaps, meaning the bars are more natural and healthier as well as allow for a lot of different recipes. For each soap's uniqueness though, you'll have to check out my individual soap guides where we go through what sets it apart. For now though, I'm going to tell you the base ingredients. Your basic brick will have three saponified oils. These are olive, sustainable palm, and coconut. Saponification is basically the process of turning oil into soap. So first up, olive oil is full of vitamins and antioxidants that lead to healthier and protected skin. It's also hydrating and moisturizing. Sustainable palm oil is palm oil that is achieved without the infamous deforestation and exploitation that otherwise takes place. This is the type you'll see in every brick. It comes from a sustainable source. So palm oil is known for its benefits in aiding dry or irritated skin. Among other things, it's full of vitamin E that leads to healthier skin. Last but not least is coconut oil. This is great for moisturizing and hydrating skin. It has antimicrobial and anti inflammatory benefits. Together, these three oils give Squatch Bars their moisturizing and repairing qualities that give your skin a much healthier look and feel. Shea butter is also in every bar and is one of the most storied skincare ingredients. Its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties result in soothed and healed skin. Kaolin Clay is a great cleanser. It absorbs excess oil and gently exfoliates skin, leaving it smoother. Lastly, sea salt is another great exfoliator that purifies and nourishes skin. Altogether, these ingredients make up your bare bones Squatch Bar, giving it its moisturizing and healing qualities that have both instant and long-term benefits that leave you feeling like some sort of god. Now that's just your standard ingredients. As almost every bar has some unique things added, you'll see things like pine tar, goat's milk, aloe, and even beer, each with its own benefits that gives every brick its own character. There's also added grit to some bars, like oatmeal or sand, that give a bar a rough texture that exfoliates your skin, giving you an even deeper clean, ranging from zero grit to heavy grit for the manliest of men. Now I don't want this video to seem like just a propaganda piece for Squatch. So next, we're going to cover people's main concerns with a natural soap. The first complaint is the cost. Your brick will run you around $7 from the website before any taxes or shipping fees. That's a lot of money for soap in many people's eyes. The best deal is to find a code online which can save you 15-20% to 20 and to order above the free shipping threshold, which will save on overall cost. Still, that entails spending about 50 bucks an order, which may seem like a lot, but if you stock up or use other Squatch products like the hair kits or deodorant, that price will go up rather quickly. You can also find some Squatch available at Walmart which is actually cheaper than the website and is probably your best bet if you just want to try it, as you can pick up a brick for about 5 bucks, though they only carry limited flavors. The second complaint is the longevity of the brick. Many say that their bar will only last about a week, maybe even less, which means you could be going through a lot of soap, and expensive soap at that. The bar is also about 5 ounces, so it's not the biggest brick out there. Now, there are several ways to make it last longer. One is by using the soap saver offered by Squatch, or finding one elsewhere. I also highly recommend cutting the brick in half, so it's not dissolving as much and still fits perfectly in your hand and with the soap gripper. Also make sure it's not under the shower head, keeping it constantly wet. Personally, I typically get a couple weeks out of the bar, and little hacks like these certainly help to preserve it. But yes, the brick may not last as long as you'd like, but that is just kind of one of the trade-offs for using natural products. The third complaint is the scent. 
Not the smell, which is one of the best parts about Squatch, as nearly every bar smells fantastic, but the potency of it. There seems to be this idea that the soap's smell should be noticeable after the shower, which I don't think is a quality really any soap has, natural or unnatural. Still, you're really only going to smell the soap in the shower, and maybe faintly for half an hour on your skin after. It smells great while you're using it, just don't expect it to smell strong afterwards. Instead, if you like the Squatch scents, I'd actually recommend their natural deodorant, which has many of the same flavors, but the smell is much stronger and you'll notice it much more. Honestly, I find it's almost like a cologne. All three of these are valid concerns people have, and I think it's fair to know just what to expect when paying up for a Squatch brick. So, is Dr. Squatch worth it? In my opinion, it's easily yes. Once you do make the switch, I think you're unlikely to go back as you really can tell a difference. It may be hard to do so if you're on more of a budget, but if you can, I'd recommend at least giving a brick a try. Out of the many people I've given a brick to, none have said it wasn't better than your more generic soap. Now, there are other natural soaps that are cheaper than Squatch, both nationally and likely in your local area, if you check your nearby markets. So, that may be a better option for you. A lot of people like Duke Cannon and Sudsy Bear, but I've never tried those, so I can only really speak to Squatch. Squatch has built up a great community around their products, and it's fun to talk about the different bricks and the new limited releases. Honestly, that's a big part of it for me. It's a lot of fun. If you're interested in any specific Squatch Bar, check out our soap guides where we break down every single Squatch Bar and rank them. So I hope you found this informative, and I hope to hear from you in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. Yeah, man!